Hey, this is Full Game Prometheus, the only YouTuber that shows you full games with all the tips and schemes that post my channel. I'll show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. Alright, so guys, you're new to my channel. Make sure you subscribe button, also that notification icon, so you can never miss an upload. Um, this is going to be a speculation video based on my experiences of playing Madden. I've been playing Madden for over you know 20 years. Actually, I, uh, my first Madden game that I ever played, uh, ever bought, ever owned was Madden 92. Games evolved a lot over the last three decades um, and it's becoming more and more like the NFL um, and a lot of the concepts you see in the NFL and you see breakdowns by uh, professionals are carrying over to the game. Now with that said Madden EA um, EA has never made the perfect game and there's there's been always been always been situations where sometimes the offense is more OP, OP than the defense um, and uh, a lot of competitive Madden players will have to go ahead and patch and try to adjust uh, to what the OP thing is going on, the meta on, on an offense. And one of the biggest issues that we've been facing uh, with Madden over the last five years, and it's something that really hasn't been corrected, uh, is crossing routes. Uh, the routes that get really deep, they get about 20 yards deep or 25 yards deep. They get in between the zones, they get, get, get in between the mid zones and also the uh, in between, uh, below the, d the deep zones because those, obviously those deep zones actually have to play over the top. Um, and it becomes a very difficult situation to stop that stuff. So a lot of Madden players would do certain things to go ahead and try to prevent uh, these type of plays to stop, to try to stop these different types of plays. But just as quickly as people started doing things that are unrealistic online uh, with the game, the, the basically what uh, EA did is they, they switched the rules. So I want to talk about basically some, some of these OP routes. So we're going to take a look at play action cross, cross shot. Uh, it is a play that a lot of players have been using for a long time. It's a good money play. It's got a real good money route that you can build the entire scheme over. Um, but I just want to show you on how these new features that's going to be in Madden 21 are going to be the OP features, are going to be the defensive features that are going to shut down a lot of those money plays that people have lived and died on uh, for the longest time. And they're going to have to have more depth schemes to basically be more successful with Madden. And it's going to be more of a chess game. So it's just going to use the play action post sh cross shot. Now, um, a lot of players online use uh, you know, either a 43 or 34. They use a nickel defense. Uh, I'm going to use 34 just for, for uh, uh, one of these defenses. But I'm going to show you a couple other defenses that you can use and how you can use these features. Now, first and foremost, let's talk about the, the formation. I expect to see a lot of people use online, and it's going to be like a cover two defense. And the reason why is that if Madden keeps the run fits the way they are, cover two defenses are better or more stout against a run uh, than other defenses. So a lot of people are probably using um, the Tampa two defense uh, uh, as their primary defense. Now, so this is basically your shell right here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just uh, take these guys right here and um, I'm going to go ahead and just uh, water this, this defense down, and I want to show you basically why people have been living and dying offensively off these cross routes uh, and built entire schemes of it. Now watch Landry. Landry is obviously a really good wide receiver, but this defense, even though it should have somebody in the area, it doesn't. Um, just because of the way these, these, um, these defensive assignments, these zone coverages, uh, basically work. So if you look in the instant replay, Watch the crossing route. You would think that the, the bigger threat is going to be over the top, um, and that's going to be the off, that, that uh, defensive back's responsibility. But watch what this, this highly intelligent or elite wide defensive back does. He comes down and plays this flat route because that's his responsibility, leaving the over, the over the top route right here, this guy going across the middle of the field wide open for an easy completion. So you would think, okay, this is a very simple adjustment. I got a guy that's playing, using this play against me. I'm just going to go ahead and make a real simple adjustment. So what I'm going to do right here, I'm going to go ahead and take this guy, and I'm going to put him in a curl flat. I'm going to put another another coverage guy out there to go ahead and take away that read. But look what happens. That those coverage guys still don't play that route. They get pulled down. They don't play it. They someone should be coming back and playing this. There's got there's basically three guys in coverage 
over here, all three of these guys are coming down and playing this flat route. And when you've got these guys and this guy going over the middle of the middle of the field, uh, basically bla naked, no one's covering them. That's why this game is broken. This game doesn't it wasn't playing zones correctly. But EA actually went on and actually corrected this problem. And I'm going to show you what the popular defense is, what shells you should come out uh, and do right away once you actually get this game and you start playing online uh, and trying to pick up on your opponent's tendencies. So what's going to be the new feature that you guys can use uh, is going to be the feature which is going to be this uh, zone drop feature on the left hand side. So I want to show you, look, you, you see where it says uh, zone drop flats five yards, zone drop curl flats 30 yards, uh, zone, draft, uh, zone drop hooks 10 yards. So let's take a look at the same play um, if we actually went ahead and had one of our defenders play a little bit deeper. So right now, this guy, I've got him in a curl flat assignment. And how far does he fall back? He falls back like 5, 10, 10 yards, 15 yards. And then he actually comes down and he actually bites this route right here. He actually comes down and bites this route. He only goes out 15 yards. What would happen if the same guy actually went 20 yards? So instead of actually stopping right here, he actually stays, he, he drops right here. What would happen? Well, you'd be right you'd be right in a passing lane right here where, where the ball is supposed to drop at. So you're, you're basically going to be falling right into these passing lanes that people have been making their money on the entire time. They've been throwing these routes um, continuously, uh, forcing people, to, forcing users to go and play over here or underneath, and then actually popping a guy on, on the opposite side at 20 yards because their defenders won't, because they, they know that the defense isn't going to play it correctly. But if you've got a defender that's floating to this level right here and taking away the depth, then basically these money routes, these money plays that people have been living and dying on are going to get shut down. This is going to totally affect how they play deep, how they play offense. So I think that you're going to see a lot of players actually come out of this particular shell right from, you know, you're going to be, this is going to be probably the most popular shell that you're going to see online. Uh, and it's going to be uh, like a cover two, uh, cover two hard flats type shell. So most players are going to go ahead and have a defense that's going to look like this. They're going to go ahead and take uh, their outside linebackers and put them in curl flats. So they're going to have this type of a shell. Then they're going to go ahead and take their middle linebacker and put them in a deep third like this. And they're going to use their, these guys, this guy right here, right over the middle of the field. This is essentially where they're going to go ahead and use her. And that's going to be kind of how the defense is going to be set up. And they're going to force people to make decisions about the crossing routes and where they want to go with because those deep crossers that people have been living and dying on are not going to be available to them anymore. You'll probably see a lot of cover four uh, show too because once again, once again, this route will actually get picked up if you can go ahead and change up your settings. If you can go ahead and take those curl flats and drop them back uh, consistently 20 yards, 25 yards, people can't spam that play against you anymore because you're going to be able to go and take that away. This zone is not going to be all dumb anymore. He's not going to fall back like five yards and then come down and play this crossing route. He's going to float back into this passing lane right here and be there for that interception or the, the pass deflection or to go ahead and knock that ball out. So that's going to make cover four, uh, basically cover four uh, drop show two, one of those OP defenses that you want to run right away as you pick up on your opponent's tendencies. Now, um, another defense that I use a lot in previous Maddens, uh, Madden a couple years ago, was the Safety Blitz 3. Um, and this is a defense that what I liked about it is that I could send a lot of pressure against my opponent. Um, and it was a defense that I really, really liked to use because uh, it had a lot of flexibility to it. Um, and it was confusing for my opponents because I brought these safeties down and, made, and, and basically would put a bunch of guys in the box. Um, and then they would have to make fast decisions. I could put pressure or I can go into all-out zone coverages. So let me show you some of the things, one of, how I'd run this defense to really mess up my opponent. Defense I like to use is this uh, this uh, safety blitz. Now I want to show you basically see how the guys come down in the safety position. They're going to go ahead and drop down in the box, and that's going to essentially give me nine people in the box uh, for for stout run defense. 
But I, I like to go ahead and do a couple different types of adjustments. So I'm going to go ahead and take those safeties and put them in deep halves. And then I'm going to go ahead and take these guys and put them into hook zones. Now, with these guys, these, these purple zones falling back at 20 yards depth, these guys are basically going to go ahead and they're not going to give up this route. This route is not going to be available anymore because the defender is going to be in that area. And that's going to really force my opponent to actually make, make tough decisions. Now, one of the reasons why I do like this particular play uh, is because it is, uh, it's, it's got um, this coverage, this, this defensive coverage uh, has got the flexibility where I can actually go ahead give my opponent the same type of a look, but if I want to, I can easily go ahead and just blitz everybody um, and force my opponent to make a fast read. I'm using this guy right here, so basically uh, that's going to be a type of situation where he's going to have to make a quick read over the middle of the field, and that's where, he, where we want people to go with the ball, but if, if pressure's coming in with that defense, I've got nice stout run defense, and I also have the ability to, 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 to fall back and take away those big deep crossing routes it's going to be a defense I'll be using a lot. So that's going to be a defense I'll use a lot right, for, right from the very beginning. Uh, so, But cover two with, with, the, with purple zones is going to be very popular. Cover four will be very popular. Um, and you, what you want to do is, is to immediately set up these coverages. So you might want to leave those, zone, those, those flat zones at five yards depth or something like that. Um, the, the curl flat zones, I would recommend putting those at like 20 yards, 25 yards or so. 30 yards is pretty deep. But 20, 20 yards is going to give you enough depth to take away a lot of those routes. And the hook zones, you probably want to leave at 10. Um, these are probably pretty good suggestions. But this is the feature that you need to go ahead and, and use right away if you want to be successful. And you can use these generic coverages right away until uh, the meta of the blitzes actually start coming out where uh, particular blitzes are more overpowered than others or where you can get a you can get pressure on a quarterback with four guys. Uh, so it looks like Madden and EA is doing a really conscientious effort to do that. But I, I guarantee you, <coughs> you're going to see a lot of cover two shells. You're going to see cover four shells, cover three shells. There are going to be a lot of people falling back in, in coverages, uh, and they're all going to be falling back. If you live and die by using those crossing routes, if that was part of your offensive scheme, uh, you got a month right now, you got two, you got six weeks. I would start trying other different types of passing concepts to break down these type of coverages uh, and have an offensive set because I think coverage defense is going to be the meta right away until people figure out how to actually go ahead and send some blitzes and pressure, and then it's going to become more of a chess game like it is in the real NFL. So once again, my subscribers, thanks for your support, guys. If you guys are looking for offensive and defensive tips to take your game to the next level, you want to see them in action, I would recommend subscribing to my channel if you have not already because I will actually do that. And if you have special requests, hey, how do I stop this offense? i got a guy that's in my league or my best friend is killing me with this. And if you want me to go ahead and lab things for you and, and, and create an offense or a defense to help you take your game to the next level, go to my Patreon. I do special custom work for people that request this. So thank you once again for your support, guys. I look forward to rolling out some more concepts and tips for, 20, uh, for Madden 21. Uh, soon, so look, uh, be on the lookout for that. So thank you, and until next time.